Hello Doraemons! Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to look into the unique question which is asked on the previous ARA which happened on 22nd February. It got rescheduled. You all know what happened. And yeah, so for that, we are having that question for today's video. So I have taken two questions which is asked on for Python part and also the Java part. So I choose those two questions because they are kind of similar and I found some way to like minimize the things which happened on the last video. In the last video I used awk command to you the to count the things. But even without using awk command you can directly count the rows and that is using WC iPhin L. So this will count the lines. So as of that you can just use that part. But for this question it will not work because the output is slightly different it's if it's only the number or the line count it would be done by using wc l and it's not like that so we should definitely go with the awk command so i'll show you how that works so that if any question is you came across maybe using numbers you can you don't have to use the R command and write uh, lines of code just in one line of code you can solve the unix problem and just crack the 10 marks so easily so i'm going to show you how to do that so for this question just read the question write a command to display the employee id employee name and month for the employee whose timesheet defaulters for any month that is t sheet ts field is equal to no so we have to get the rows which has the t sheet field as no so look at the data which is given over there there is no other field which has this va value no other than the ts field so we can directly use the grep command and compare the no and fetch only those rows so that can be done easily and after that we have to print in such this format so for this only we are going to use the off command so without further ado, let's get started with our coding part. So I'm just using the grep command. I'm already asked like if you guys want a tutorial on this grep command, it is really useful. I came across this command when I was going through some websites and uh, this is my favorite command which I've used in this solving part. So it's just grep and you will put iPhone i because we know all the case like all the comparison should be case insensitive so for that we are going to use iPhin i which represents insensitive of the case and here in in the quotes we are going to represent the word so i'm just going to put no and we'll run and see whatever the columns are getting i already fed it the input so we got only two columns which is harish and kiran so here it is Harish, so I'm just going to change it to Harish. So now, if we run, we have the exact output, but we only need three columns from these four columns, which is the employee ID, name, and the month. So, for that, we are going to use the R command. And when we want to pass the output of one command into another command, we'll be using this pipe symbol. And here we go with the R command. And after this, we have to give a space without forgetting because it will give you an error and inside this we are going to put the single quotes and then put begin and with the space without forgetting the space you're going to put the field separator which is comma over here and then in this end we are going to print and as we are going to put like these colons inside the print itself i'm going to print uh put it in the brackets so I'm just going to put dollar one and this one, dollar two and this column and dollar four. Now it's almost done. We're going to just run it and check it. Yep, that is correct. And they also said like it should be in ascending order like that. So for that, we're going to use sort. So we're going to put sort and that's it the output is already out so this is the solution for the python part and now i also have the java part question so let's read into the question write a unique command to display the number of cards 
who are belonging to the car company named Tata Motors and model type is EB so let's have a look so we have to take uh, the car company which is named as Tata Motors so here only Tata Motors got repeated in this column again we can use the script command to do that part so as simple as that I'm going to change it real quick and also going to change the input part so let's first quickly do that so I'm just going to copy paste it I already have it it may give you an error when you're using custom inputs because the spaces and the spelling should be correct let me check whether I'm getting the yeah let me just remove all these and basically we are going to use the grep command in the grep command i'm going to put tata motors and if you want to do two comparisons you will have an idea like how you can do two comparisons i'll also tell you that now i'm just going to run it and yeah it has got us this thing where the two things are displaying like three more column sorry three rows are displaying and which has the company name as Tata Motors Tata Motors Tata Motors and over here we are going to also get the model type should be EV so as you can see over here in the output data we don't have any other column containing the value of EV so again we can press pass it into a grip command again so just put the pipe and again put it as grip as an I and with a space put EV so now guess what you'll get only one row yeah so here it didn't get as I said here it didn't get proper the stars the field separators so I have to fix it I'll be back so it's not just a big error I'm going to solve in front of you itself so here in this part we have EV can you see EV so this is because it got hold over there and uh, yeah so we have to put just um asterisk over there and it will be fine so here i'm going to run it yeah and we have two types in insensitive of the case so the output over here is two which didn't get printed okay so here i'm going to again so as i said we'll be using wc iphone L. so what this does is word count it counts if you give, if you give iphone l it will count the number of lines as simple as that as you can see just one line of code what is difficult in this to solve it's really really very simple and that's how it works but you the <laughs> company will not allow you to write one line code so they have given you one more case where you'll print no record found so for this category uh, like if you put WCL like in uh, surely assure you will be getting at least two test cases passed because it will be like uh, there is only two categories where we have to print the total number of lines and there is no record found so there will be four cases and two will be like that and two will be like this so if you give put this command even you will get two test cases passed that can be useful and but we can't do it here so what we are going to do is <clears throat> then let's see what if what if if there is no line get displayed and what the w will do i think it will put zero right so after this itself if you want to try it out if it didn't gain any output you can try to print no output record like that but i'm not going to do it i'm going to basically go with the arc command so arc and begin and here we are going to put the fs fs is must and if not given as a fs for this question i don't think it will cause any problem but have the process of like practice of giving the fs so and don't miss it out if you miss it the code will not even run so i'm going to give encounter variable c and inside this i'm going to increment it c plus equal to one and 
in the end part i'm going to just put end part i'm going to give like if oops, if c then it has to print the c just print c and if not else it has to print no record found and you can try printing like if w dot c can return any value like that you can try but it's up to you if you want to try you can try and i'm trying a way which gives you shard output so if that doesn't work out you can go with this way i'm giving you the other way you can figure out with that way if possible and yeah with the else also close the end statement now shall we run <coughs> It says, yeah, so this should be in double quotes. Yeah, so now we have the two, and if not, what is our warning here is puts petrol, 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 and I'm just going to change, replace that EVs to petrol, and let's see. I'm just changing and removing all the EVs. I'm just going to run it so no record found if you remove this entire thing and put w dot wc dot fnl it will give you zero and it will be again like you have to raise our command and check like if it returns zero then you have to print no record from so better you can go with this way and i hope this video was really helpful and you like learned something new in this video and i was asking for this suggestion from you guys if you want like some of the commands like this grep command which is really useful when you are solving problems in Unix uh, like if you want a tutorial on that you can please comment it down I didn't get any like exact clear decision from you guys so if you want it please comment it down I'll work on it and I'll probably put out things which will work for you in the question and this is the most useful command which you can like I don't know if you pass the exam with my videos i'm so happy like one of person one person got 40k from my videos congratulations so and i'm very glad that you passed uh, through my videos and i'm so happy at least i got some fruit to my effort and thank you so much for commenting it down and i'll be pinning the comments and i want most of you people to pass the ra and uh, i want most people to get 40k so yeah that's it for this video i'll be meeting you guys in the next one probably after the ira so yeah until then keep learning and keep rocking and this is your code doremon signing off peace and cheers bye